Well, listen to this. A record-setting incoming class for Butler University. The school says 1,111 freshmen will actually begin classes next week. That is the largest incoming class in the school's 157-year history. The students come from 20 countries, 32 states, nearly half of which are from right here in Indiana. Classes begin Wednesday, August 22nd. With students back on campus at IU, it's time to buy those textbooks. But in many classes, the push is on to lighten the load and go digital. Fox 59's Jill Glavin has the latest on the move to e-textbooks. Would you rather have a big clunky textbook like this or something small like an e-reader to slip into your book bag? That's the question facing students at IU even more this year, and that means adapting for the people who've long sold textbooks. With IU students moving in this week, it builds every day with students coming back. The textbook stacks at TIS Bookstore are getting busier, but there's another option on display at the store. There will be students that will come in and say, I want to buy an e-book. It's a trend IU has been banking on. For a few years, the school's been rolling out e-book specific classes, so students like Katie Malik are carrying a lighter load. It's really nice because the fee was included in like the course, so I don't have to like go to the bookstore and buy a textbook or anything. Malik likes the idea. You don't have to have the hassle of like selling them back at the end of the year and all that stuff. So, but not every student is on board. I'd probably rather have the actual book. I'd rather you know sit down and write on it and things like that rather than just reading it off a computer screen. Plus, for textbook sellers like TIS, a shift to eBooks means a shift in business. A class that used to have textbooks that had 250 students in it that had a textbook that now no longer has anything, we're not selling anything to that student for that class. The store says for the most part, students are still opting for hard copies, but these days ebooks are big, and most publishers are offering textbooks electronically too. This is typically going to be anywhere from 50, 60 percent of the cost of a new book. The cost factor is a big one, and for students in those classes at IU that only use ebooks, they don't have an option. They will not find one of these hard copy textbooks in the store for them to use. In Bloomington, Jill Glavin, Fox 59 News. Times are definitely changing, that is for sure.